it's got both it's got the long range of like baby poop green like you got the like nice and creamy one all the way to chunky and dark. Alrighty guys, I am back here and we are continuing on what we, what, what we were doing yesterday, which is building up the egg farm. So I already kind of got this one pre-laid out and I put a wedge there on the back so that way it doesn't look wonky hanging over. Also, I kind of want it looking like this. It just looks like we expanded the platform to fit the build. So yeah. I don't mind doing that. I don't expect to do that with all of these. I might do this again, probably when we do like the... <clears throat> not this one. Maybe not the next one either, but like the big one. If we have to do U-Ties and I have to take up two spaces for an egg spot, I don't mind it for a U-Tie, but we should be fine without it. But anyways, we're just going to hop right into it. So I'm just going to place down some ramps here. I thought I should... Did, what? Can I not snap you guys in here? No, I can't. Jeez. Alrighty. Plan B. That ain't gonna work. Um. Hmm. Let me think of this. Alrighty, I got this working now. So, it doesn't work with S plus ramps. But it does work with regular ramps. So. If I just line these up alright. Then we should be able to get the stuff out of the middle just fine all right just had to run and get some more wood real quick here so i could craft up some more of these ramps um so yeah we might be swapping in between like s plus stuff and you know regular arc structures because just so that way we can do a little bit more complex stuff like this i don't understand why s plus wouldn't let me put these their ramps like this but i'm glad normal arc does so just helps it look nicer now i'm just going to take these windows put them up around the sides i like uh so and then we are going to be good for now um oh i almost forgot my pillars uh oh how do i get it to snap thank you now, we'll get this one up. I'm thinking that's the only one that would be difficult there is where it's intersecting with the dodo pen. So, I've also been thinking about going back around and painting all the fences orange in the dodo pen. Or on the dodo pen. Seems like we got the orange and white hut. I don't know why I painted it that color. I seriously don't. At all. Alrighty, so I got the door placed. And if you're wondering how I did that, I just placed down a foundation like so place the two walls and then remove the foundation and i think that fits just nicely just right too i mean and i think yeah we're gonna have to do it the double high because we can't cut down the the height of this at all um no i gotta do the other thing on the same side so for this wall so we're gonna put up this oh my oh, i gotta hurry i gotta hurry i gotta hurry i'm sorry i'm sorry ah oh, dang it I wasn't fast enough. I put on the I put the walls on the wrong way. And I just noticed it. Oh no 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 we're falling. Fly, fly, fly. It looks ugly underneath. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna get that foundation because I just jumped. But yay. Okay. And Put these up. I gotta get another two door frames crafted again. But so far the raptor pen's coming out looking good. Like all my builds do. Alrighty. There we are. Got all the doors. Or well I got all the walls up. Except like the what is it? These walls, the ones up for the ceiling. So yeah. Um, I already went out and did tame up our terror birds and raptors for today. I'm just going to breed them up like I did the dodos here. I mean, they're all just in the corner. But Yeah, usually they're all around the pen last time I checked here. They just need some encouragement. But, yeah. Go. No? You guys just 
just stuck? Yeah. They're just pinned. They'll fix themselves out eventually here. Like, see? As soon as we walked away, like, two of them fixed themselves out. And then... Come on. There we go. They fix themselves out. See? <laughs> With a little encouragement, they fix themselves. Alright, so... I think we are going to paint this as well. Oh, and actually, you know what? Seems how this does have the orange on it. There we go. And then we'll just go around and paint our fence real quick. All right, so uh, I say we saved the forest green for last. We need to go with the olive, okay? Because I didn't get much forest green. That one actually takes a lot to make. So I gotta be careful with it, because it's like seven of two different berries, and I know it takes five narco berries. It it's a whole thing. All right, so I'm gonna want to hit one in six here on the walls. Uh, that's not that noticeable, but I got a feeling once we actually have more things painted in it, like yeah, especially on the inside, it's noticeable, but. Okay. Uh, what are the color regions for the windows? Alright, they are 1 in 6 as well. And then it's 2 and 3 for their trim. So... I think we should be able to get this painted up pretty fast. Um... Did the door... Yep, doorway is painted. It's these triangle pieces that I'm a little concerned about. We are good on the triangle pieces. Okay, we're good on painting the walls. Okay. Um. May as well. We did it on that, didn't we? Yeah. We painted the floor the same as the... do the same here and then we'll hit your trim as well with the uh, with the forest green when we come back around this is this one's not gonna get a door um so yeah I think that's gonna do this one for now uh, yeah that should do that color for now so the way I'm seeing a lot of this is that two and three or the color regions. I'm looking currently at now. I have the I have the window one pulled up. So I I can guarantee that the window one will be Yeah, that that's that We made baby puke and baby shit green house. It's got it's got both it's got the long range of like baby poop green. Like you got the like nice and creamy one all the way to chunky and dark. Alrighty, we're finishing up the painting right now. I'm just going through and being very careful. What did I hit? I don't think I hit anything. Oh no, I see what I hit. I see what I hit. That's gonna be, actually that's gonna be a real easy fix. Cause I know the regions I haven't pulled up. But yeah, I see what I hit there. Like, yeah, you gotta be a little careful here when you're painting, because I don't know the color regions of the pillar, and I usually just, last episode, I guessed it, and I sat there for a while just painting over and over again. But I'm glad this time I didn't sit here just painting over and over again, until I figured it out, so. I actually looked them up, so this is actually was very helpful. So, it's one and six. That should have fixed it. Yep, all fixed. And there we are. The raptor pen is... I get... Well, the the, ap, the raptor egg pen is done. I mean, I do kind of... am kind of like... Eh, on the little pillar here that is, does poke in here to the dodo pen. Because it does help them get stuck a bit more in the corners. So... But it is looking nice. It's looking nice. I'm... Well, I've kind of been brainstorming what I want to do here for the for the terror birds, and I think I got something in mind. 
but I'm not 100% sure on it. Okay, I got the foundations down, and I actually think I got them exactly where I wanted them to be. I mean, it lo like it looks like the pillars should line up just about the same spot. Or if hold up, can I see this on the inside here? Yes, but we should be fine there. Um, this one actually is not going to be that complex. I don't really. I'm kind of second guessing it because I originally wanted to have it so that way you walk in. But, like, have it like this, but, like, where instead it, like, kind of curves. It was going to do and try and do something fancy here with some corner pieces up in the front. But then I thought that's going to be way too big. So now we're going to go with this. Um, I'm thinking about just having a walkway in, kind of like just off a normal S plus ramp. So if I go to... Do I got enough for an S plus wood ramp? Should not have scrapped those ones I had earlier, because then I could be using it right now. Oh, we got enough for it. So, we're going to put this ramp here. i got to go get more wood soon. I'm starting to run low. I legit just ripped everything out of my uh, crafting station there, and I've been just crafting in my inventory. So that way I don't have to like run back and forth. But i got to do a wood run here. So, but yeah. That should be good for the terror birds. Uh, the raptors, yeah, they should be fine. I really like the dodo pen. The only is I still got to go tame them. I should have done that while I was getting these guys, but I didn't. Because well, I did try. There's a bunch of fiomia that run around below me, but there's also carnos that come in and eat them. So. It's it's a little difficult to tame a Fiomia around here. I could try and pick one and like bring it up here and knock it out. But yeah. I just didn't think of that at the time. Alright, now that I got more wood, I think we're just gonna do some wood walls. Uh, we're gonna need You know what? I haven't been using these quite often. Let's do a double door. Five. Is that correct? I lost count of what I needed there for a second, so let's put these down and actually see what I got. So, got that wall there. Um, I'd like to see right through to the back side, so we're going to do a double. And then, yeah, I was one wooden wall off. I needed three windows. So, there's that, and then we'll go. This one's going to be quite simple. I'm just going to legit, small room, throw the terror birds in, have it, like, come in every now and again and collect the eggs. I mean, really, I could do some more, like, fancy ones. Like, this one is, like, fancy for the raptors because it's going to roll down. I just really am coming to, like, a, a stunt when I come to Terrorbirds because usually I just have my spot, like, my little spire that you build up and you throw them in. And you can, like, fit six on the floor on, in the spire. But these ones, like, this is, this here, I, it's going to fit six. If I really want to try it, I could probably fit 12 in here if I pushed it with raptors. I mean... This, I might just only have, like, the back wall lined up with terror birds, you know? I don't really know what else we could do. I could try and, like, set them up on benches so that way, like, they're elevated a bit above the eggs. That's something I could try. It's just... I visualize this little structure back here. Like, like boom, terror birds. And then, like, like, a row on this side and a row on this side. But now, like, it, I might still do that. It's just, I might do it so that way, like, they're standing on something. Just something to elevate the terror birds a bit. I feel like it'd be weird if you walked into a room and they're just sitting there flat on the floor. I don't know why. Like, it's not weird to see that. I mean, if anything, like, it might, I think it's just me thinking it might look lazy, the design. But, I mean, these... 
these are somewhat simple but decent designs i mean i'm not going complex with it i mean the inside of my house over there is complex i mean we got like we got a three-story living room okay all right so we're gonna get into the painting and all that so i got a bunch of black here because i left my berries going in there with all the charcoal and a bunch of my waters so we got a bunch of black so we're gonna do probably black on the trim um if anything but what is this color i got here did i put the right one in did i put in yep i put on the right orange i guess is what it is it's definitely an orange i would say um one and six boom 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 if i remember like a lot a lot of these were just one and six for their regions i don't know what the doorway is. shoot okay. no i i got the doorway i just didn't hit it the first time um this is this is gonna be orange and black okay i'm not i don't know i'm just trying to wrap my head around it seriously right now Two and three are usually the trims, right? I feel like they're usually the trims. Yeah, that's the trim. Gotta be careful. I don't want to accidentally, like, spray through the wall, you know? Hit this side. Um... I think these ones are not. No, I didn't, because I think it's five. Yep. Normal walls did not get painted with the trim. Neither did the triangle ones. Okay. Um... Got it that time. I got it that time. Alrighty. And I think the pumpkin house. Oh, why is it? Why did I go with orange? Why am I even painting these? Oh, yeah, because I'm building everything out of wood and everything is just brown if I don't. I mean, hey, I mean, it looks, it stands out. I mean, it really does stand out. Okay, am I gammaed up? I am. If I gamma down, oh, it gets dark. Okay. It gets dark if I gamma down. I need thatch. I need thatch ceilings. Okay. Six. Boop. Alright. We got this. Let's get those crafted up. Should be able to get these pens done. And then we can place our rafters and terror birds in them. And then we might call it for this episode. Because this has actually been going for a while. I, I mean. Coming up with designs. All that. It's nice though. Just sitting back and building. For once. Come on, we got this. One more. Boom. Alright. So, that's it. Um, I'm still kind of thinking about, like, how, like, we could elevate them. I know we got, like, we could do the dodo way, but we're gonna have to, like, land them on. On these, you know? Like, be able to sit on them. I'm just not 100% sure. 